Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Welcome to the big news of the day. The topic we are going to cover would be the revival of so-called zombie virus in the Russian Siberia, which has been reported widely yesterday. A team of European scientists have revived one of the oldest viruses known to mankind from under a frozen lake in the Russian permafrost region. In this expedition, the European scientists they have discovered close to 13 new pathogens and they have named them zombie viruses as much like zombies they are also being brought back from the dead. These zombie viruses they remain infectious even after spending thousands of years under frozen ground and the key point is that one of the viruses has been dated back to around 48500 years. This has beaten the previous record of a 30000 year old virus which was revived by the same team of scientists back in 2013 see these are essentially ancient viruses or pathogens dating back to thousands of centuries ago which have remained frozen and well preserved in russia's siberian permafrost permafrost is nothing but a condition where the ground is more or less permanently frozen even during the summer season and it's a common feature near the arctic especially in the russian siberia so here at the bottom of the yukechi alas lake in the yakushia region of russia which you can see in the map over here which is part of the siberian region this is where the researchers have found these ancient viruses and in this expedition they have uncovered ancient viruses not just from the bottom of a frozen lake but also from the fur of a mammoth fossil and also from wolves intestines which remained frozen in the russian permafrost for thousands of years the oldest virus has been labeled the pando virus yedoma which has been dated back to 48500 years and it has been named after the pandora's box the pando virus family is a genus of giant viruses which was first discovered in 2013 by the same team of researchers it is considered to be the second largest virus in physical size as compared to any known viral genus after the pithovirus genus the pando virus measures 1 micrometer long and 0.5 micrometer wide now you might ask why take the effort of reviving these ancient viruses what's the reason behind it see it's very important to understand that these viruses they still remain infectious because the permafrost conditions in the region keeps them well preserved under the ground and they still have the ability to infect single cell organisms such as amoebas which has been shown here in a microscopic image as of now these viruses are not known to affect plants or animals but this possibility can never be ruled out even these frozen viruses which are being revived they have the potential to infect plants animals and even human beings and hence scientists who go looking for these viruses they point out that this research is very essential to extrapolate the data not just to show that the danger is real but also to create the right research base in order to understand these pathogens their traits their ability to infect plants and animals and humans and potentially develop drugs and vaccines against them as a first line of defense because these ancient pathogens also have the ability to make a zoonotic jump and it could potentially trigger the next pandemic this concern becomes all the more serious because of global warming and climate change climate change is leading to irrevocable melting of the polar ice caps and it is also leading to the thawing of permafrost regions near the north pole studies have clearly established that the melting ice caps and the thawing permafrost could unleash some of these ancient pathogens which have remained dormant until now but they could potentially revive and start infecting plants animals and even humans the risk is all the more higher because human activities are increasing day by day in the permafrost areas for example in the arctic there is a intense cold war and a geopolitical competition which has already begun between different countries to exploit the resources of the arctic so arctic mining could unleash many of these deadly pathogens and these viruses could make a zoonotic jump the other concern is by poaching of mammoth tusks especially in russian siberia since mammoth fossils are well preserved in the permafrost conditions poachers look out for their tusks in order to sell them in the black ivory market 
which is currently valued as a million dollar industry. So this could also potentially bring humans in contact with ancient fossils, which might be containing these dormant pathogens. And experts have repeatedly warned that any such revival of a dormant virus could be the equivalent of a microbial Captain America, which indicates that these microbes which remain frozen for thousands of years, they still remain active and infectious with the potential to lead to the next pandemic. So with this, I would like to conclude the discussion. And if you found the initiative to be helpful, do support us by pressing the like button. Also share your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.